Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today we're excited to take you on an exclusive tour of Parade Home number six, The Merit. We'd like to thank the developer for giving us an opportunity for an exclusive entry into this beautiful home prior to the Parade of Homes event starting. This home was built by Bankator Homes. It is a five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, 4,400 square foot home and is also currently available for sale. This home is being sold fully turnkey for 1.6 million. I will link the MLS listing in the description below this video. And if you have any particular questions, fire them off in the comments below. But without further ado, let's just dive right into it because it's a little windy outside. Hold up. I thought we agreed no more boring house tours on this channel. What's this? party inside it is a little bit windy outside after all it is february in st george but i wanted to give you guys a little bit more details before we dive into this tour first of all this home is located in st george utah kind of in the heart of the city would you say it's the heart oh yeah so we're right in little valley we're right directly behind george washington academy and we are within crimson boundary so if you're looking to relocate to southern utah and maybe you have kids maybe you have a family that could be a great location for that or maybe if you don't have kids don't forget about resale values they're usually much stronger in the areas that are in a strong school district as i mentioned earlier this property is a five bedroom five and a half bathroom 4400 square foot home that sits on a lot that's slightly over a quarter acre and it has a beautiful pool so as we enter this property directly to our right we have this barn door that is beautifully finished. Everything in this home was custom built. And um, it, so this barn door takes us into our front room, the office that could also be used as a bedroom if you wanted to. It has a closet and the windows open to the front of the property. I absolutely love all the decor, by the way. And with uh, the current asking price, this home is being sold turnkey. So sold turnkey. So all the furnishings can be included with the purchase. And I know those lights over here are flashing on those floating shelves, but they're not flashing in real life. They are in this video. So they're just LED and the frame rate masses a little bit with the light, but uh, all of the built-ins are finished absolutely beautiful. Let's actually explore the, the living space and then we'll come back. There's quite a bit to unpack on the front of this house. So as we enter this living room, it is quite massive. There's plenty of room to entertain. We have a huge oversized center island that has room to comfortably accom accommodate four bar stools and it is extra wide. So you have plenty of room for your prep area and this could also double as your dining table. Directly across we have signature series appliances with a side-by-side -side commercial fridge and freezer. Um, over on the back we have plenty of counter space as well as a built-in signature series range. And of course directly across we have a premium dishwasher with an oversized sink. Now one of the things and we'll, we'll kind of go out of order. Can't hold it. I am super excited about two details in this home. So we show a lot of parade homes that are just kind of over the top, overbuilt. But one thing that really appeals to me in this home is that it's incredibly usable. So one, one detail before we even go any further is it has a water tap, a uh, pot fill, if you will, right above the stove. I've had some clients from Washington were looking at houses and they said, how come there's no pot fills in Southern Utah. Well, this property has a pot fill directly. Directly above the stove, which is a huge, it's not really a huge thing. I, I don't find myself filling pots often, but it's just a really nice uh, feature that gets me giddy about it. Um, now, another huge thing is if you come around this way, Michonne, you'll be able to see 
that all of the beautiful cabinetry runs all the way up to ceiling in this home. So you have lots of extra storage space, but well, what about a pantry? What kind of pantry space do we have? Well, let me show you. This hidden pantry, and I'm not gonna compare it to the size of my Chicago apartment, that's why I usually do in these videos, but this beautiful pantry has uh, butler space, so you have this massive counter space area across the back. There is some shelving, room for a second refrigerator. Take a look at how well they utilize the under stair space in this home. Usually this is kind of a dead space, but you have virtually double the size of this pantry. And this is the biggest detail that appeals to me, is this pantry, and if you're a Costco shopper, you will appreciate that. Maybe not Costco shopper, wherever you buy stuff in bulk, but this pantry opens up to the garage. So you can pull in your vehicle, unload your groceries right here, and have access to uh, have access directly to your pantry. This door will take you back into the house. So now we've entered through the mudroom back into the house. Let's explore the rest of this living room area. So directly across from the kitchen, we have this beautiful fireplace with some built-ins. And as Michon had pointed out earlier, the, the LED lighting strips below built-ins might look a little bit like they're flashing the video. They're really not doing this in, uh, in real life. Across to the back, we have views to this beautiful pool. Most of this backyard, actually all of this backyard, is zero-scaped with very minimal plants and planters. And you have lots of sealed concrete across the way here. Really good size dining room with this massive table that has room for eight. So sitting space for eight. And this detail, I absolutely love about this home. So this massive triple slider. takes you out back to your personal little oasis. And this area becomes an indoor-outdoor space. It was a little windy earlier out front, but it's nice and sunny. It actually snowed here yesterday. If you come around this way, um, I think they've done a really good job with landscaping this property. You have just a little bit of black rock and artificial turf, very minimum usage of water. There is a spa and a pool on this side. Massive covered patio with two fans and a ton of can lights for extra light. And this is a really neat detail. So this home has an outdoor shower right on this side, which you could access right from the pool, run up the shower, rinse off. And then we also have, this is that, that half, the five and a half, this is a half bath that's accessible right from the outside. And this is a really neat touch if you're out and about, you're, you're, you're entertaining people over at your house, maybe having a barbecue, people are swimming in the pool. It is so nice to have this outdoor bath so you don't have to run across the house, look for towels. This backyard is super self-contained. And again, we're right in the heart of St. George, really close to everything. It is so cool to have this kind of space. What are your favorite things about this home so far, Michonne? Literally everything. I love the floor plan, and I'm loving the interior design and the decor in this. I love how the designer also implemented with all the furnishings that she picked out that kind of ties into the cabinetry wood, the flooring, the table, everything. It looks so good. So me personally, if I were purchasing, purchasing this home, I would definitely want to purchase it fully furnished because I don't think it gets any better than this. Well, and you're in luck because it is being offered turnkey. I love it. They did awesome on this home. I absolutely love this living space and this kitchen and the cabinetry. It's beautiful. The center island, I just, I'm 5'5". Five five. Like, it is massive. Like this is perfect for entertaining. 
I love everything about this home. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Is this home your style? Let us know what you think. We absolutely love it. I want to take a moment to take you guys through Michonne's highlight reel. Some of the things that really stick out to Michonne. Well, I like to pay attention to the little details. I love the cabinets. Well, they obviously they go to the ceiling. I love the lighting up in there. Nick obviously pointed out this cool pot fill. Pot fill. And look how nice this six burner stove is. We've also got a slide out cutting board right next to our trash can, which is super nice and convenient super when cooking. Convenient. Look at this fridge and freezer combo. The signature, the signature kitchen suite. Absolutely love the look of the built-in appliances. And then we've got our microwave wall oven combo. And the microwave is also a convection oven. So you essentially have a dual oven option if you needed it. And then, yeah, I love that the center island is this same wood cabinetry and then the other cabinets the rest are white. They look, they tie really well together. It ties with the floors, I think, really well. But like every room is so vastly different. So this little mud room nook area, we've got kind of a olive green color. The designer did it really well. Let's look a little bit more into the family room. So there are some floor outlets, which are nice to plug your lamps in. This mantle is massive and looks awesome with this fireplace. What do you guys think? Is this your style? Like it feels really homey in here. Like it feels super cozy. Very usable, right? Like yeah. it, it doesn't just feel like a museum house. I think that's the term. Like the designer did so well. Like I could picture myself living here and just be completely comfortable. I could just move in with a turnkey ready I love every decor that I see. It just flows so well. If you're watching this video and you're even remotely thinking about moving out to this area, please give us a call. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Call us, text us, or email us anytime. Oh, and and it so really well. kind of flows. So we'll take you guys back to the, the front of the house and then we'll kind of go through an order. So as we go towards the front, you have these beautiful dual metal doors that take you to the front. There is a guest bath right off the front. And then directly across, we have the casita. So this part of the house can be accessed independently through this beautiful open courtyard and glass French doors has enough room. I think this is actually a queen, so it has enough room for a queen bed, a little kitchenette, and then you have a full bath with a beautiful shower with floor to ceiling tile. And I absolutely love all the, all the color combinations in this house. I feel like the, the color plate was selected just perfectly. So we're still on the guest wing of this house directly behind the casita, we have another bedroom with an ensuite and a really good sized closet. And guys, if I could tell you how soft- I feel like I I'm walking somehow, on a cloud. I feel like you're walking on a cloud. The padding for this carpet is really nice. This bedroom opens to the side yard and there is some substantial space in this side yard. So you have some nice, privacy out of these windows. This home is pre-wired for central vacuum and it actually has the hose system that goes entirely inside the wall, not like the old school style. So very usable. So as we continue this way, we have one more, actually two more rooms that I'm super excited about to explore on the main level of this home. Primary bedroom, prior to entry, entering primary bedroom, we have 
a really good sized linen closet. Again, I, I can't stress this point enough. We see a lot of parade homes that are super beautiful and I'm not sure if they're super practical or just, you know, some things are designed more so for beauty over function. But this home kind of combines it all. It has a really... A really good sized primary bedroom that has access to the backyard so you can go out to the spa or the pool. It has a king size bed that fits in here with plenty of space around it. And take a look at this primary bath. I love that this has kind of a half, half and half. The shower is so massive it could pass for a wet room. It has rainfall shower head as well as a dual shower head to either side and the soaking tub is directly across you have dual vanities that are divided by the soaking tub so there's no uh, no conflicts over real estate or the counter space you have another linen closet to the right of that vanity and then all the way at the end here you have a water closet and then we'll take you guys into the master dressing. Now, it is incredibly spacious. And one thing that I absolutely love about this house now is I pointed out to you guys earlier that your uh, pantry opens to the garage. I feel that another thing that's an absolute must, and this home was designed by one of our favorite architects here in St. George, and I've seen her implement this in her plans. And I'm super excited that it was done here as well. It's one of those things that you, you really truly appreciate when you get to experience it in your home more so than just seeing in a video, but this master dressing opens into this huge laundry room. And how convenient is that? You could just enter your uh, primary bedroom, primary dressing through this laundry room. You have lots of counter space. Again, massive cabinets throughout. You have a sink and your washer and dryer is directly across. That's another thing to keep in mind too. For a home in this price range, you actually have everything furnished. So if you're shopping for a second home or maybe you just don't want to deal with dropping 20 grand on an interior designer and another 70 to 100 on furnishings. And I don't know, don't quote me on these numbers, but it seems like off a lot of hassle with just, just the design aspect alone. This door takes us out to the garage and while we're here, let's go and explore the garage. So this property has a two car garage and it's an extra deep, extra wide two car garage with a 50 amp plug on this side. So it's EV ready. We also have an RV garage on this side. Now I'll, I'll um, post some stats down below. Dual water heaters, bypass loop for the water softener. We park all sorts of toys here. Maybe you would even fit a boat because the RV side has an extra tall door with extra tall ceilings so you could park all sorts of things here you know some of our clients prefer to have an rv height ceiling even though they don't have an rv because it's it could also accommodate a car lift so if you're crazy about cars and would like to fit more than four cars in that garage you could easily put in a car lift and have space for two more that concludes the main level of this property let's go check out upstairs it's a beautiful custom railing and Again, you have that same padding with the same carpet on these stairs. So it feels like you're just floating up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> floating up to the top. Now, this home was designed to utilize 100% of the square footage. This upper area has a massive closet right as you enter these stairs. And first we'll, we'll go to this end. So this is another Taking a look at gathering area. This is another gathering area that could accommodate, you know, you could, you could kind of convert this space. So this could be a playroom for the kids. You have this nice open space, an additional kitchenette, two built-in bunk beds. And what I really like about this area is throughout this entire upstairs area, you have these nooks that lock up and you can 
You can put away toys. You could store all sorts of things. How cool is that? I love it. This space otherwise would have been dead space. And then as we go directly across, we have one more storage closet here. There's absolutely no shortage of that. Two more of those nukes, that massive closet that we just showed you guys. A full bath. And then we have one more upstairs bedroom. This bedroom is incredibly spacious. It currently has a queen size bed. It has one of those two of those nukes across the bed. And I really like all the furniture selections in this house so far. Folks, St. George Parade of Homes is an opportunity for the builders to show you what they're capable of doing. We have a great relationship with the developer that built this home as well as the builder in general. So if you like what you see here, if you do want to be in this neighborhood, we're able to essentially build whatever it is you're looking for. This developer has lots that are ranging anywhere from a quarter acre up to a full acre. So if you'd like to start a custom home journey, we would absolutely love to be of service to you. Please reach out to me, we'll find the right lot. We will build the right home and we'll make sure to fit it in your budget. Mm -hmm.